Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a very, very, very interesting video. Now, uh, I usually don't like making videos like this. I, I doubt that anyone on YouTube actually makes videos like this. Um, basically talking shit about their own things that they bought. Um, I just got these headlights. Um, you guys, I'm saying um a lot for some reason, I don't know. Um, 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 um. I got these headlights recently and They've been giving me adaptive headlight feature problems. They've been giving me uh, like a whole lot of lights on the dash. Uh, I'll be showing you guys that shortly. Just being a lot of problems with the car because of the headlights. I knew I was gonna have problems on my dash. It wasn't that big of a deal. I was gonna get it recoded and removed. That wasn't, you know, the problems that I was, you know, trying to fix at the moment. But recently, the headlight on the second, the low beam settings, not the rings, the, the actual light in the ring, they started, you know, flickering, flickering, and then eventually just went out. And um, of course, for aftermarket parts, it's really hard to find aftermarket bulbs for them because apparently it's not the same as the original ones. So thank goodness I didn't sell the headlights. I was gonna sell them to a couple people DMing me, and uh, luckily I didn't because I would have been very, very sad because these headlights have got to go. Luckily, it's still in the the 30 day um, return policy, so I'm gonna be removing them today. And showing you guys before I remove them all the lights I'm having, I'm having on the dash and what you can remove, what you can fix, and what you can't. So I'm in the car right now. I'm gonna show you guys the lights I'm currently having, what lights are for the. Let me close the door real quick. It's super loud because of the exhaust. Uh, so let me show you guys which lights is because of the headlights and uh, which lights is for other things. So right now, if you look at my uh, dash, it's gonna show um, the seat airbags and stuff like that. That's because I just installed these seats recently in my last video and uh, still having some problem with the lights. So I'm gonna probably unplug it and pre-plug it in or do, unplug the battery and check it out. So if I wanna go to my settings real quick, go to your info, your info sources. And wow, that's laggy, come on now. Oh, I double clicked though. All right, info, info sources, service info. Go to check control messages. And I have a collective list right here. So if you look at it, I have three left problems with my uh, my lamp, and there's none on the right besides this low beam one, which just came up recently, and that's because the bulb actually did went out. These three is because of the the what's it called the load resistor. I put it in on the right side, and it fixed the issue. I didn't have any problems on the right, but besides now, this thing came up, and this is an actually a bigger problem. And um, a friend of mine did say that his friends got the exact same headlights, and um, like two months later, the ring actually went out. And I, you know, I don't want to buy these headlights and have about two months later, you know, go to shit. So I'm just going to return them while I still have a chance and listen to my friends. Um, so yeah, as you, guys, as you guys can also see, there was an adaptive headlight um, light that is not easy to remove. You actually do have to actually plug in a, an OB2 and remove the code or whatever. I'm just going to put back my other headlights and hopefully all these lights are going to go away besides the restraint system malfunction, which is because of the seats. Everything else should just go away. So um, let's show you guys how it looks after I saw the other headlights. Hopefully I did it right. Alright guys, if you look at it right now, nothing looks wrong with it at the moment. But if you look at this side, you notice that this bulb right here, the low beam light is on. And this one is not. Now this just went on recently. That's the reason I'm taking these back before the rings end up going out as well. Alright guys, it's way too hot right now. I'm about to just take off the bumper, put the car back in the garage, and uh, work on it there. And my allergies won't be as bad. Oh, it's pretty bad allergies. It's recording. Put that in over here. Looks like it's working out. Yeah. Looks like that actually worked. And those two are done. 
All right, guys. So we took off the tabs that we we took off in the first place from here, put onto the other ones. Now we're putting it back on. So when you put this back on, you just screw it in this way. So you put on the tabs. These are just um, these are just to allow the screws to actually screw into something. So that's the first one, and the other one should be on the back. Please don't drop these because these are apparently worth an arm and a leg that I was unaware of. Now I know the other headlights don't look great right now. I'm still gonna put them on. Uh, I'm gonna take it down to a, a, rep, uh, a repairable shop, and they're gonna like resurface it, make it look nice on the other ones. I don't know. They're not gonna be like the headlights I dreamed of, like these. But you know what you're gonna do. The other ones are worth a whole lot more. They're they already have adaptive headlights built in, and they were just you know they're gonna outrun these lifetime by a thousand times. So. Let's, you know, let's not have problems that we don't need. Alright, so now he's just taking out the headlight. Should just come out. And that's the full assembly without the load resistor. It should just fit in perfectly. Alright, like how beautiful that looks. Man, that's gotta get resurfaced. That's disgusting. Alright guys, so we're gonna put that on in. Doesn't look that bad. Well, I'm telling you guys, it's disgusting. Yeah. All right, so we get to sit down the camera, see so my uh, brother can help me put this on, and then yeah. All right, guys. So we just got that one in. Just gonna put that last screw on the other side. I'm gonna have to lift it, bring the lift back around, around, and that should be done. Hopefully, they just work right off the bat. I'll show you guys if the errors are there or it's gone. I'll show you guys in a second. Uh, well, the last one is right there, the hardest one. What I just do usually is I take out this little panel right here and I just pull this out and then. I start screwing that on in there with a regular uh, screwdriver. Get in the car real quick. Got the keys right there. We just plugged in that fog light. Turn it on. Focus it in right here. Looking at my dash. You still have the lights for the seats. That's always going to be there. The brake lights just because of the e brake. Those two lights right there is because of the seat. Sorry guys, my exhaust is pretty loud in the garage. Come on BMW, my battery's about to die. Don't do this to me. Camera don't die on me here. All right, so you click accept. See if I can focus that in. Again, that's for the seat. We gotta figure out what's wrong with the seat cables. Go to your info. That has nothing to do with this video, don't worry. It's for the next video or something like that. I'll show you guys how I fixed it if you guys do have that problem. Go to service info. Go control over there and then now left front fog lamp malfunction darn we still have that problem all right well obviously it's not working let's go check it out real quick Wow, this entire time I forgot to record. So I'm gonna unplug everything real quick. Um, so obviously this is the uh, the ones that should come, like this is the, what's it called, the conversion that I purchased. So this should plug into your original one and uh, the other head, which is the yellow one, should plug in into your new fog lights, the sports ones or whatever the hell you wanna call them. So that should just plug into that. Should just plug in really easy. Yeah, so I don't, there's no clicking here. Oh, there's no clicking at all. I guess that's just how it works. Huh. There's just no clicking. That's strange. All right, well, there is no clicks. That's just how it's gonna be. So if it unplugs, it's really easy, though, to fix. And you got the other side. What I did is push those pins a little bit closer to each other because they're kind of spaced out too much. Just pull them closer to each other and that should fix your problem. And then you plug this into this. And that should just plug in the tabs. And let's turn on the car and see see if this works and if the light goes away for the fog light. All right, thank goodness. Oh, what's that on my face? Got a lot of dirt there. Whatever. Um, that's what happens when you got shit all over my microphone. I right, now got. Oh, I need to clean up. All right, this is disgusting. All right, guys. So I just put in that last screw. Headlights are both in. Um, again, they're not beautiful, but um, we're gonna take it down to the shop and we're gonna have them resurfaced. So, 
The reason why I haven't finished the rear bumper and the reason why I haven't resurfaced it before putting them on is because I'm saving up money for our new project. Now, I've driven a friend of mine's car, he has a 335, and I know how much the costs are to basically swapping out the motor and adding a new trans. Now, I could do it, and I, I probably would do it in the future, but here's the problem. I feel so guilty swapping out the engine with only 64,000 miles. Then at this point, I feel very spoiled. The car with 64,000 miles is already like it's it's a new car. Why would you want to swap out the motor? I mean, I, it makes sense if the engine's going out to do it. It makes absolute sense, and I will do it. But I'm gonna drive it till the engine probably hits like 100, 110, and starts giving me problems. Then I'll be more than happy to swap out the motor. So right now, I still love 335. I love twin turbo. I love the sound of turbos. Once you have all these, you know, modifications and tune-ups, I don't want to just mod my car. I want to tune my car. I don't want to be that one person that only modifies it. So I'm gonna go down on auction and pick up a 335 totaled coupe. Um, not totaled, but like pretty bad accident to where I can get it for like two or three grand. Now I know how to physically take off most of the things on the car. Like, I mean, you guys see me. If you know anything is possible, as long as you just work on anyone, anything's possible. I want to show you guys that anything's possible with enough work and patience, and um, obviously money. But again, I work part time at a grocery store, and I can do the stuff that I do to my car. Um, so I'm gonna pick up a 335 totaled coupe, stick shift, um, 90. It's obviously an E92 because I love the E90s. So it's gonna be a very, very nice car. I always wanted a coupe, and especially now it's gonna be 335 stick. So we're gonna have a lot of fun drift videos and all kinds of stuff. So let me know if that's something you guys want to see. So let me know if it's a good idea if I pick up an E92 salvaged and work on it with you guys, showing that you can build it from ground up with like axles or whatever the hell the problem is with it. Um, so yeah, that's that. I'm gonna have a little like a thingy right here that you guys can vote whether you guys want it or not. Because I want you, I want you guys to actually ask me questions in the comments and tell me what you guys actually think about these headlights because they're a piece of shit. Um, but like, would you still get them? And if if you did get them, is there a place that you can get parts for them? Because, I mean, that's the problem with me. I couldn't find any parts to replace the bulbs or the rings that if they did break, because they're aftermarket, and I don't, God knows where they came from. Now, if you guys do want me to get another kind of drift car, I just know that a lot of people have 350Zs and Miatas, so if you want me to get something else, then I could, but I'm not interested in G35s, and I'm not interested in, like, the Lexus, you know, the CSC300 or something like that. Um, mostly in the German cars, and that's what I'm, you know, that's what my channel revolves around. Alright guys, if you did enjoy the video, please smash the like button. Uh, a couple of my videos have been hitting 200 likes, which is absolutely insane, and most of them are hitting 100 plus, which is also insane. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please smash that like button. If we get to 200, that would be absolutely insane, and I would make sure to upload twice this week, even though it is finals week. And to next week, well, I mean, kind of it's dead week, and then finals week, it's all finals the next two weeks. But I'll make sure to upload twice this week. If this video hits 200 likes, actually, in the first, like, 48 hours and you'll make sure I get a video on two days after this video so take it easy guys take it easy get a BMW if you don't have one because what else are you doing with your lives BMW is life and then let me know up in the poll up top if you guys want me to get a 335 and work on it from a totaled point of view so get like one that's totaled not total you know bad car accident work on it whatever you guys want to go home you guys want to watch another video you guys are done watching my face peace out guys later hey.